Whenever my kids eat baby bell cheese, they know not to throw away the wax. I keep the wax because it can be used to make sprues with this 3D printed tool. But what is a sprue? Well, for those who don't know, they're basically a wax sticks. You can buy them in different sizes and then you attach it to whatever you're gonna cast so the metal could flow like so. And then you burn it all out and then you can pour the metal in. So this tool that I call sprue move. <laughs> so this tool that I call sprue move. You get it? Sprue and the sprues are made from cheese wax, cheese moo. Huh? Yeah, I know, genius. It's used to make sprues. It's great for situations when you run out of sprues and you want to cast your ring. And hey, if you order it online, you're not going to get it today, most likely. With the cheese wax, you can just go out, you go to the store, buy some cheese and you can finish the ring or whatever you're gonna cast. Got a casting plan, but your sprues run dry. Don't let the molten metal pass you by. There's a cheesy hack that's fun to do. Grab a baby belt and your sprue moo. Sprue moo is the waxy thing you need. Sprue moo turns cheese wax into feed. Sprue moo. Print it fast and set it loose. Sprue moo, you can snack on cheese and juice. When you first print out the tool and the nozzles, grab a nozzle and just make sure that you can insert it and remove it easily. You might need to do it a few times to make sure you can do it smoothly. In this video, I will also make my sprue moo out of metal, but only this part, just to compare it with a 3D printed version and see if there's any benefits. But what if you want to print one but you don't have a 3D printer and you aren't sure if you want one? Then my friend, you want to check out today's sponsor. GLC 3DP is a 3D printing service. All you do is go to their webpage, upload files and choose the material you want to print with. There are different choices. You can choose between FDM printing, which is basically this one. I printed mine in PLA, but there's also resin printing, or if you want to go fancy, you can print it in metal. If you want to try out GLC 3DP's service, check the link in description. And if you are a new user, you can get $60 off just by using my link. I'm gonna make my mold out of sand and sodium silicate. I added around 7% this time. I'm gonna use a 75mm sand mold that I shared with my patrons a while ago. Then I froze my mold, because if you don't, there's a chance it can get ruined. It doesn't always happen and there are other ways how to make it non-stick, but I like freezing it, so that's why I do it. I microwave the mold on the lowest power using a cycle timer, and then I transferred it to my microwave kiln and I burn it out. So this is only one part of the mold, the second part is the sprue. Just like before, I froze the mold then cure the sodium silicate in my microwave and transfer the mold to my microwave kiln and use the cycle timer to control it. I'm gonna make it out of copper, so I'm just cutting some pipes and flattening them in a car park. I'm gonna join both molds with aluminum tape. I preheated the crucible and proceeded with melting the copper.
The copper appeared to be quite hot, so I waited a little bit before pouring it in. I even gave it a swirl. There was a crack in a mold and you can see there and there's also a hole from the sprue but it hasn't gone through you can't see it so we're good If you enjoyed these videos, there's one thing you can do. Press the like button, it helps more than you can imagine. Cheers! There are two ways I like to make sprues with baby bell wax. First, take your wax and remove any white residue. So here we have wax from two baby bell cheeses. Let's see how much, how long the sprue will be if we use a four millimeter nozzle. You want to work the wax for two reasons, to warm it up and to mix any residues so it's more even. Now we just press. This table is not the best because it's very high so it's hard for me to press it. It's better to go lower. So this is the wax we got from two baby bell cheeses. But what if the wax is not as soft or you let it cool down too much inside of the tool or you're just not as strong as I am? <laughs> now that's funny. You just use an ordinary coke gun. That's it. But what if your churro is crooked and you want it straight? Well, there's one thing you can do. Okay. This is beautiful. Sometimes I just melt all the wax and then pour it into silicone molds. That way you kind of mix all the impurities and maybe even remove some so the cheese wax is more consistent. Both of them work, but the metal one has one advantage. I put them both on top of the 3D printer and I turned on the build plate. Let's check the temperature. They've been sitting for around 10 minutes. So this is 27, 28 degrees. And this one, 34, 36 even. This one doesn't feel warm at all. And this one, oh yeah, nice and warm. So that's the big difference. Copper conducts heat very good, so if you need to warm up your wax, this will be much easier. And it'll be also easier if you ever need to wash it, you can even stick it inside of the oven. You might say cool Denny, but these sprues are too soft 
It's true that they are soft, but for me, as a hobbyist, it doesn't bother me. In fact, actually, I'm not gonna say prefer, but sometimes I do like the fact that they're soft, because that means you can just shape them with your hands, you don't need to use a soldering iron. This sprue is obviously quite soft, if I hold it by the end, it does bend, but I don't find it a problem. You can still attach it to both ends and it will keep its shape as long as there's a main sprue. But there's another thing you can do. You can stick the sprue in the freezer for only for a few minutes and it will make it much harder. And then you can work on your model and if necessary, you can stick all the model in the freezer again just for a few minutes before you actually make your mold. But this main sprue, for example, it will easily hold your, let's say, ring. There's no problems. Let me get the sprue that I put in the freezer for 10 minutes. You can see that now this is much harder. Finally, I can use my microwavable soldering iron. As you can see, it keeps the shape. I could put it inside of the freezer for a few more minutes like this before covering it with investment and it would be fine. Obviously, normally I don't use a sprue that thin, but for demonstration purposes, you can see that it does hold the shape. 